Tell us, Nick. What's the difference, Nick? Tell us, Nick. <laughs> Shut your mouth, ninjas! It's Thirsty Thursday. What's up, ninjas? What is going on? It's Thirsty Thursday, but I've been cutting a lot of granny yards from Whack a Granny Wednesday, but that's because I didn't get to all of them yesterday. Anyway, I'm just now actually getting to my Thursday list and uh, just pulled up. So I've got that big one right up in the air, right up, right, right here. Yeah. I don't know if I'm going to record any there because it's such a big yard, but uh, I probably will get some footage over there for the other house that I have across a couple of lawns. You know what I mean? A couple of neighbor lawns. I hope all you ninjas are having a good thirsty Thursday. You know why it's a thirsty Thursday? Because we thirsty for these yards. That means we knocking them out, slicing, dicing, making these yards look all nice. I've been getting a lot of messages about now that I have uh, tried different brands of mowers, I haven't tried them all ninjas you know there's quite a few brands of mowers out there and one of my goals is to really go out there and try different brands of mowers i want to see what's out there so one of the things that i think it's super important for anybody i know we all have our favorite mowers and uh, look i get it i get it i i like the bumblebees i think they're great mowers i really do but one of the things that i've learned from last year is that it is super important to have your favorite mower because you know it you like it it fits just right and yeah, rah, rah, rah. but don't be closed-minded look around look out there and see what's out there there's different brands different companies different mowers that do different things but Nick, they all cut grass yes they do yes they do but they don't all cut grass the same way so one of the things we're going to talk about today and i'll go out there and show you and we'll kind of go over things is the Ferris Z3X. And as you ninjas know, I did get the Ferris Z1 as well. Now, am I gonna stick with Ferris? I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. Is there gonna be other brands of mowers on that ninja trailer right up in there, right up in there? Yes, yes there will. I'm being my phone goes off every time I start to record. I don't freaking get it, you hear that, you hear that? It's nonstop, but the whole time drive here, it was quiet. What I would recommend to you would be get the biggest, baddest engine you got or you can get, okay? That's just my opinion. Now, the Z3X I have mentioned in the past has some things that I truly am not a huge fan of, but you know what? I can't judge the machine overall based on some of the things that just, you know, I, I don't necessarily care for, okay? I can't, I can't just, you know, judge the whole unit based on some of the little small features and we're getting ready to go over those once I knock out these yards. This is really gonna be for any of you who have, um, who are considering maybe purchasing a new mower, stay tuned. But the reason I'm making this video and why are we on this topic is that I've gotten a lot of emails and a lot of DMs about people just asking me, but Nick, you switched some Ferris. I guess you could say that, maybe not. I mean, I wouldn't really say that. I, I, I would say, cause I still have a Bumblebee, but I would say I am, testing the waters.
So let's get to it. Well, first of all, as I mentioned earlier, the EFI 37 horsepower Vanguard is something I want the best power wise that's out there look all units all commercial grade mowers that are out there are going to be good when it comes to uh frame you know when it comes to durability things of that nature some might be a little bit more than others but you get the point but some of the things that i'm going to point out is what this machine has that the bumblebees do not have and then some of the things that i like between the two and dislike there's a big big difference in the deck so the deck cut on this machine compared to the bumblebee zk is of course much cleaner cut from what i'm noticing and i am just now going into the season so it's still i'm still watching it very carefully okay but the closest that this reminds me to is the velocity deck when i had the turfy when i had the turfy the velocity deck cut beautifully on that weekly yards maintain yards you know what i mean grease fittings so obviously i've got grease fittings on these bad boys uh, I'm not sure how many, but I know there's probably quite a few of them throughout there. So that is something that I am going to have to do compared to the ZK Bumblebee that it does not have any. Okay, so that's one thing that to me personally, I wouldn't use it a downfall. I don't mind. I have actually a really nice a grease gun that I've invested in that I've had and I haven't had a chance to use it and haven't had a need to use it since the Bumblebees don't have any. So that's not the problem. The problem is once I grease it, how often will it hold that grease? Because that's one thing I had an issue with Turfy. I used to grease it once a week, you know, every 15 hours or so, and they kept telling me it's not enough. And uh, spindles kept burning out. And then that, of course, they were putting the blame on me. I did upgrade to the bigger tires on this just for the hills. I do have a lot of hills in my area. Um, this is something maybe you don't really need if you're in the flat part of the country, but I have a lot of hills and I do want to have that extra grip. Now, one downfall to, downfall to these tires, Ninjas, is, as you can tell, it slings a lot of dirt. If you're mowing on a pretty saturated area after a good amount of rain, you gotta be really careful. Not only are you gonna sling dirt, which is really not the issue, it's turning and it, it can leave some tracks on your lawn all right so that would be the only downfall on that other than that the grip part i love it i love it they look bad man i mean they, they're just so wide and big and thick and yeah this is to me personally a little bit of a i wouldn't again i'm not judging this machine just by that but i i mean come on this to me is just a little bit silly but the fuel gauge is all the way down there and you literally have to like peek in there to see it okay again not a big deal but it's one of those things like man why couldn't you just bring the fuel gauge all the way up here but again that's i'll leave that to the engineers this one's got the oil guard bumblebee did not but i'm from what i'm hearing all the mowers this will be an option pretty soon if it's not already huge plus in my eyes because you don't have to do an old change but about once a year basically deck adjustment is right here i like it because i am a tall guy and i when i'm standing up here i want it to be right here where it's in my reach you know what i mean this can throw off an individual if you've never really uh used a ferris mower this can definitely throw off an individual as far as where do you put it and what height it is but once you uh once somebody explains it to you i'm not gonna you know invest too much time into it but once someone explained it to you it's pretty simple the only thing i like that the reason i like that better than the bumblebee is the bumblebee was all the way down here okay and the control of course is on this side lifting the deck and so every time you had to adjust the deck height you would literally have to step off the machine bend down and then adjust it right here not a huge deal again but over time everything this is already hard as it is out here so anything that can be more simple for the operator is a plus in my book so that would be something i would say it's beneficial i like it that it's up here at hand reach let's get to the serious most important thing about mowers if you're actually gonna considering on purchasing one what is the biggest thing that you want to look out for in my opinion besides the engine and the power optional again we mentioned talked about it earlier besides the deck that's going to of course vary how it cuts besides the grease fittings and all that what is something that really is the most important that i don't think we really think about when we are purchasing a new mower we're usually thinking about just the engine color 
what's the brand name because the reputation and to me would be drive system to me the drive system i think personally besides besides of course the engine and the the power and all that would be your i say top thing if not one of the top things that you need to look for with a standard zk you've got the hydro pumps which are pretty fine they do fine but one of the things about hydro pumps especially if you're dealing with hills is they have a tendency to lag a little and i have noticed that on all of mine when i have put it through all the beatings that i have on some of those bad hills that i come across not a big deal but it's just something that you notice this thing does not have hydro pumps this thing has an actual transmission with gears so what does that mean ninjas it means it's very very responsive and it's not going to fail you at all when it comes to those hills i mean because those gears when they catch it goes that would be the only thing that is the biggest difference honestly and it's also very important something to consider if you are in the market for one of these new mowers now some will argue and say of course you know transmission gears there's going to be a lot more service to it things are more likely to break you know but hydro pumps are known to go out all the time it can happen to a transmission or a hydro pump to any mower it's just obviously how you maintain it how you treat it and all those things this is more of when you're purchasing a brand new unit what to look out for so deck engine definitely look at the engine do you want more power or do you want less power i always want more power because think about it you may not need that power in every single yard but you may come across that one time where you're quoting a yard and you need that power because it's overgrown and if you don't have it you're going to be there twice as long you're going to put a lot more strain on the engine that would be honestly the three biggest things that i think anybody should look for when it comes to purchasing a new mower whether you go with a ferris whether you go with a bumblebee whether you go with a toro whether you go with an x mark whether you go with a grasshopper whatever there's plenty of options out there whatever you might be in the market but also at the same time some of you might be just limited to options because depending what kind of dealer you have in your area i've always heard ferris is always striving to give you the most comfortable ride you know that there is and you know sometimes it could be a sales tactic sometimes it could just be advertising it's one of those things you just got to try so i encourage you ninjas no matter what brand mowers you are out there looking for demo one on a stander all you have is some bushings down at the bottom and that's it they have this right here so this is the soft ride stand on and what's cool about this you can actually adjust this pin if you're a heavier person or a lighter person and how comfortable your ride actually will be to me that is a bonus because now for a short period of time that i've had this unit it is a lot more softer and comfortable it just absorbs the bumps a little bit more than the bumblebee the bumblebee doesn't have that option it's basically set as is to release the hydros and the bumblebee is pretty simple too you actually have to lip, lift the flap up and then you'll have your hydro pumps in there and you'll have to just loosen them most likely you'll have to use a key of some sort or pliers or whatever you may have on hand this since it is the transmission you just basically lift and pull out lift and pull out and now the transmission is unlocked so if this mower was to ever get stuck on me or maybe the engine has an issue or i can't start it or something super easy you pull those two pins out and i can now actually roll it around and when you're done push them back in and that's it so there you have it my ninjas overall I'm not going to sit here and tell you one's better than the other. They are very different units, but at the same time, everybody will try to compare the Z3X to the ZK because they are the closest as far as in power and how big they are and you know durability and all those things. If you were to try to compare the two, this would be the mower that you would want to compare to a ZK. Other than that, I do like it. It hasn't given me any problems yet, but again, that is just now started the season ask me again towards the end of the season what i think of it if i end up having any trouble out of it or not i want the power 
If I'm already gonna spend thousands of dollars on a brand new unit, I might as well just add a little bit more money and they're not that much more if you're already committed to spending for a brand new unit. Get the bigger one with the bigger power. Go with the EFI because you're gonna, of course my phone, you're gonna save on fuel. The EFI will save you fuel throughout your season. Now how much, I'm not really sure. You know, this just depends if you got more hills, less hills. Overall, would I recommend this mower? Of course I would. I'd recommend this mower. I'd recommend the Bumblebee. They're all good mowers. They are, but they're different. So the biggest thing you need to focus on is what's in your area? What kind of grass are you cutting? What kind of accounts do you have? Do you have more weeklies, bi-weeklies, overgrown yards? And that's where it'll determine what brand you'll go with. A lot of you did ask me, is this my unit or am I demoing it? No, this is my unit, okay? This is my mower. I need to take this off, of course. Anyway, thank you for watching. I appreciate you ninjas, all of you who are supporting. Uh, I appreciate all the questions. Look, I don't know everything. I don't have all the answers. Just because I've been in business 10 years, that doesn't mean I know everything. But I do know a fair share amount and I'm happy to share with you. Uh, and if I don't know an answer to one of your questions, I will just tell you I don't know the answer But if I do I will be glad to answer and something like this who a lot of you've been asking I'm happy to make a video about this and dedicate a video to this. So Stay tuned on this. Of course as time goes by I will be more Revealing this what I learn about it how it treats me and all that good stuff. So All right ninjas Thirsty Thursday is a wrap Whew. I was thirsty no more. Peace.